Hey, hey, here at the Motion Mill, I'm going to show you how to make basic water animations, like this flowing water here, this droplet here, and this dripping water up here. In After Effects, create a new composition with your desired dimensions. Then go to Layer, New, and Solid. Or if you're a little speedster, just press Ctrl and Y. Make sure your solid's dimensions are wide enough to stretch across the composition. I just made mine the same size as the comp. Next, you want to choose the pen tool with your solid selected and start cutting out the solid. I like to make my solid slightly wavy for the water. Now for the star of the show. In the effects and presets window, type in turbulent displace and drag it over to your solid. You could also select your solid and go to effect, distort, turbulent displace. In your effect controls, you have amount and size. Amount will change how choppy you want your water to be and size will determine the length of the waves. I like to keep the amount relatively low and the size close to 100 for some calmer water. Below these is offset turbulence. Click on the stopwatch to set a keyframe, then go about a second forward into your timeline. You want to then click on the left number of offset and start dragging it left or right. Once you're satisfied with the speed, you have your flowing water. But one second is a bit short. An easy way to make it longer without fiddling with keyframes is to click on the stopwatch again while holding Alt. A text box will appear in your timeline. In it, type loop out parentheses continue like this. Now you have your indefinite water animation. It could look a little better if you search for the gradient ramp effect. Add it to your water layer, change the start and end colors to your water and a slightly brighter version of your water, and adjust the start and end positions. This water could also apply to things like text. Use the text tool, type out your words, then in your timeline, make sure the text is above the water. Click on toggle switches slash modes until you see this none tab appear. Click on the tab and then choose alpha matte. You may have to adjust your water's position and then BAM! Water text. Making a water droplet is a similar process. Make a new solid and cut out the shape of a droplet. Or use the pen tool from the start and make a droplet out of a shape layer instead. Don't worry about the shape being perfect. Add the turbulent displace to your layer, set the amount to low and size to around 50. Next, set your keyframes for offset, but click and drag the right number instead, moving the offset up or down. Alt click, loop out parentheses continue, and you have your droplet. Finally, here's how to make a dripping water. Make your pool of water, solid, pen tool, cut it out, then make a droplet the same way. Next, you want to create an adjustment layer. This is done by going to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or by pressing Ctrl, Alt, and Y on your keyboard. In the Effects and Presets menu, search for Gaussian Blur and drag it to your adjustment layer. Set your blurriness between 35 and 50, and check the box next to Repeat Edge Pixels. Now, search for the effect Simple Choker and add it to the adjustment layer. Make sure it's underneath the Gaussian Blur, or this won't work. Raise up the choke mat. It may not look like anything's changed yet, but once you click on your water droplet and move it up, it will start to merge with the pool of water. To make it fall, open up the Transform tab in your droplet layer and keyframe the position in two different spots on the timeline. Move the water droplet down and you have a bit of an awkward animation. Not to fear, make a third keyframe where the water droplet is close to disconnecting from the pool. Right click it, select Keyframe Assistant, and then select Easy Ease Out. Now adjust your three keyframes until you're satisfied with the animation. And don't forget to click this box here to enable motion blur. Now we have the whole collection. If you found this tutorial helpful, let me know, and be on the lookout for more here in the Motion Mill.